Hey guys, in this video, I'm trying to explain now how we can perform instant start and stop by using a lambda function and how we can trigger that periodically at a particular point of time by using CloudWatch. So if you have one or two easy to instances, so manually you can just perform start and stop. So, but if you have uh, hundreds of the easy to instances and those easy to instances on a particular point of time, you want to start and you want to uh, stop instances. For example, uh, you want to run your uh, application servers from uh, Monday morning to Friday evening. So Friday evening, that instances should stop automatically and Monday morning that should start automatically. So in this case, uh, one or two instances, manually you can do that. But if you have hundreds of the easy to instances, you can use a simple Lambda function to perform start and stop easy to instances. So again, this Lambda function need to have some permissions on our easy to instances, at least stop instance and start instance permissions. Again, Lambda permission, Lambda will get permissions on our easy to instances uh, by using roles. So first, create a policy, and by using that policy, create a role. Then associate that role while you're creating your Lambda function. So to create a role, navigate to IAM. Again, that role or that Lambda function, by defaultly, need to have permission to stop and start the EC2 instance, and it need to write the logs into CloudWatch log, like when that EC2 instance is stopped, when it is started and all. So for that, so we need to have permissions on events on CloudWatch and start and stop EC2 instances on our EC2 instance. So I'm using this simple JSON script or JSON policy, JSON script to create a policy. So here under policies, I'm creating a policy, click on create policy, navigate to JSON, just get that policy. Click on review policy, and I'm going to call this as a stop and uh, start instance policy and you can get the description like uh, what exactly that is and all. so created a policy and however i'm going to make this policy available in our resource section navigate to roles create a role and uh, we are going to associate this role to our uh, lambda function so don't select ec2 here we are going to associate this role to our lambda so lambda need to start and stop instances and need to write the logs so i'm selecting lambda here click on next and here whatever the policy we created a couple of minutes back the selected stop and start instance policy tags review what is the policy you want to give so stop and uh, start role then click on create role right so i am the requisite is completed now let's navigate to lambda and create a lambda function to stop and start the ec2 instances so here under compute you can find lambda go there click on create function so we are going to write a lambda function from scratch so the select from other from scratch then what is the function name you want to give so first i'm going to create a function to stop instance stop instance function then scroll down in what programming language your lambda function so we have a small lambda function in uh, python 3.7 so i've selected that then scroll down again permissions how this lambda is going to get permissions on our resources so expand this under permissions use an existing role just pick the role we created stop it stop and start instance role then create function now here one function got created Let's scroll down and here is a place where you can write your code or you can read this as an IDE. And here I have a small Lambda function where it can stop the defined EC2 instances. So we are importing both of the functions and in what region your EC2 instances are running, in Mumbai region in my case, and what are all the instances you want to stop, you need to give that instance ID. So here is my instance one, grab that instance ID and given that here, and just give comma and give a single quote or you can even mention double quote also then give given the instance too now we are triggering this boto client in uh, the given region and what that is doing it is going to perform ec2 dot stop underscore instance operation on the given instance ids 
then if that is success it is going to write it is going to print a value where uh, stop your ec2 instances at, uh, and it is going to mention this instance id here right exactly same way instead of like a ec2 stop instances i have given ec2 start instance also remaining options are same we just change this function and we have changed this uh, output or print okay now let's grab this and get that under this uh, and uh, save it just go here you can save it here or you can save it here and this is how exactly we can create a function but so you know you can manually test this function also if you want to test this function just go here keep on test and uh, just you can even select uh, like a hello world template and you can just give test and scroll down click on create now you can just click on test or manually you can just go to this function screen select our function actions test so if the function got created successfully so this ec2 instances should stop automatically just go here just select the test and it is executing and here only it will tell whether uh, uh, that is that got created or not here you can see stop your ec2 instances just go here give a quick refresh and see here it is stopping now so that is uh, a lambda function to stop over ec2 instances now i'm going to create a function for starting the ec2 instance so just go here navigate to functions click on create function author from scratch and this one is to start the instance again runtime is python 3.7 and make sure you associate this role otherwise uh, this lambda cannot communicate with our ec2 instances then click on create function now whatever the one we have here uh, just grab this and uh, scroll down get that here and save it you can click on test and just go here uh, uh, i'm going to call this is a test one event scroll down so both instances got stopped here just click on create and let's click on test this event so if everything is created correctly and if lambda is able to communicate with our ec2 instances so then uh, it is going to start our ec2 instance automatically see here both are in pending state and immediately it will change its going to status to started state and why we have given this uh, log group and creating log stream and all so this lambda function is going to create a log group under cloud watch under management and governance you can find cloud watch so under log groups option under even uh, logs here uh, stop instance and start instance log got created when you go inside here you can find how many times our ec2 instance is stopped or started at what time it got started and stopped you can find all that information here all right so now just uh, navigate to cloudwatch uh, events to perform these operations periodically so now we perform the start and stop option manually but i really don't want to perform this option manually so i want to make it an automated by using cloudwatch events so here under events you can find rules navigate to rules click on create rule and here is a event uh, pattern don't go with the event pattern click on schedule now for every 5 minutes or 10 minutes you can define that but i will prefer to go with the cron expression this is a linux style cron expressions so you can even give a particular time frame including minutes also so you know you can trigger uh, you can trigger a lambda function to stop the instance and start the instance if you are not good at this lambda function you can do one thing here you can find uh, you can find a link like a learn more just click there and amazon given a beautiful article uh, you can easily understand so basically this is going to contain total six fields so this represents the minutes first one second one is hours day of the month month day of the week and year so if you want to get some example ones here you can find so these are the example ones here so now 
I want to stop an EC2 instance at 745 automatically. For that, you can simply grab this or this, this is for every 15 minutes or at 8 a.m. UTC, you can just grab all that. So, you know, I'm going to grab this and just copy this. And here, some spaces we got uh, unnecessarily, just remove the spaces. You need to have only one space. So if this operation is success, it is going to show that uh, when this is going to trigger, the time frame it is going to show here. For example, I want to trigger something at uh, 7.45, uh, but these are time zones is actually defined with UTC time zone. So again, if you are, um, you can use Google's help to convert that UTC time zone and all. For example, uh, at you know uh, fourteen fifteen, I want to trigger this again. If you not sure, just use Google's help. So UTC to IST at two eleven p.m. That means seven forty one. So my requirement at seven forty five, I want to stop an EC2 instance. So again, this is showing twelve hours format. Just convert it to twenty four hours format. So that means at 14.15, that means 14.215, so that means 7.45, all right, so on this particular day, at this particular point of time, it is going to trigger, so now just click on add target and select lambda function, and here what function you want to, I want to stop EC2 stands on every single day at 7.45. Then, uh, do you want to get any notification when this event got triggered? If you have any SNS topic, you can just go here, select SNS topic, and select your SNS topic here. Otherwise, just go with this and click on configure details. And uh, I'm going to call this rule as a stop instance rule. So, stop instances every day at 7:45 p.m. IST. Then, click on create rule. Now, again, if you want to know whether that event got triggered or not, see here, at moment, it is showing like uh, the first one as a 2nd April at 14.15. That means 2.15, this event is going to trigger and our EC2 instances is going to stop. Why? Because I have given a Lambda function to stop instance. All right. So if that got triggered successfully, our instance has to stop automatically. Now, I want to start my EC2 instances uh, after five minutes. Then just go here, click on create role, scheduled cron expression. So now uh, at 12, uh, at uh, 7.50 or 2.50, uh, 2.30, uh, Sorry, I'm not good at time zone. So you can just go here and you can, uh, you can edit based on your requirement. At, uh, so 215 means uh, 45. So at 50, that means, uh, so 220, that is going to be 750. So at 750, I want to start my instances automatically. Just go here, click on add target, and just go here, select a Lambda function, and I'm going to trigger start instance. Scroll down, click on configure details. Start instance rule, and I'm going to make it as the, I'm going to give a simple description. Start instances at every day, uh, 7:50 p.m. IST. Then click on create rule. All right. So now let's wait for uh, to trigger these events automatically. Now. My instances are in running state. Just go here. So let's go to stop instances. See that second April only is gone. Now, when it is going to trigger again, on third April it is going to trigger. Whenever you went to this EC2 dashboard and whenever you refresh and all, so that event is going to trigger and our EC2 instances are going to stop automatically. So it all depends on this cron expression here. And here is a start instances. So when the DC2 instance is going to start again, so you can find that information here. See here, instances are 
stopped automatically. Again, if you wait for five more minutes, if you wait for five more minutes, then this EC2 instance is going to start automatically. So I'll do one thing, I'm going to make it as a 17, so I can show you uh, output in uh, next minute. So actions, edit, and here, start 27, I'm going to make it as a 17, configure details, update. So in next minute, this is going to trigger. So now instance is in stopper state. So here uh, within this CloudWatch uh, events, we even have uh, many things like a schedule. You can um, you can um, perform stop instance. You can perform terminate instance at a particular point of time, or you can reboot the instance, or you can even create a snapshot and all by using this uh, events. So this should trigger now. See here immediately instances. Uh, or uh, running now so here if you go here if you observe that got triggered that instance the start instance got triggered and uh, again if you want to view the logs just navigate to log groups when that instance is started and stopped you can just go here so these many times instances got stopped this is the second request so at uh, uh, 215 is easy to instances got stopped and whenever you navigate to uh, another log group called start instance and here you can find uh, the instance uh, uh, started at this particular point of time so you can find uh, all those uh, here uh, under uh, logs so i'll make this available in our resource section so here uh, simply by giving comma and uh, single quotes you can simply give uh, and number of these it instance IDs. Okay, so that is all about this video. Thanks for watching, guys.